Plásticos mucho ahí y, y grande. Yo, everybody, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're having a good one. Hope you're getting packed and stacked and ready to whack them down in Mexico. Last video, you saw my uh, journey not catching any fish. This is about to change. Picked up some 4.8 saucies for Mexico, and I'm taking a bunch of stuff for everyone else. I'm being a pack mule, but not that kind of pack mule in Mexico. Don't get carried away now. I'm talking about Goog and Green pack mule. I can smell the 40% anise in there already. Yeah. I had a hunch that trench hogs were gonna be essential down there. So um, taking a ton of trench hogs, Taking an assortment of everything, but really went heavy on the trenches, and we've got a bunch of hard baits back there. You know, 25 pound test, 65 pound braid, 50 pound braid. We got some grande bangers. We got we got a little bit of everything. You know, we got them juicies in there as well. Singers, grande recons. You gotta have your lunker logs when you're heading down to Mexico as well. So, folks, I think we're I think we're ready. I somehow need to get this into multiple suitcases. We'll see if that can be done. We've got an axis deer on the loose here at the HQ. This little one isn't sure. It's not really sure what's going on. You need to be over there with your friend. Actually, I take that back. Those are fallow deer. Look at this fallow buck just running right now. Thinks the food is coming in hot. Either that or he's on the doe action. Gather your herd, sir. Gather your herd. A little fallow deer. That's some tasty meat. When I go back to New Zealand, I definitely want to get one of those. Put it in my belly. Wow, he's coming in, he's coming in. Probably thinks he's gonna be fed. The fallow deer, ladies and gentlemen. Beautiful and majestic. One of the most majestic creatures, but they're really known for their wits. How am I gonna fit all these baits? This isn't just for me, this is for everybody. Into a few bags. So I've got a, uh, a huge duffel bag here. This is what I use on a lot of my big travel trips, hunting trips. This holds a ton. Not really a ton, but we're, we're gonna find out. This is definitely gonna be overweight, I think. Just in lunker logs alone, the weight is just, it's intense. These are like, you know, two pound bricks. So these are in things of like six, there's usually like six to eight baits in every package. So let's do some math here. Six times eight, that's 48. Let's call it 50 for easy purposes. And then, and then we got this right here. It says 96 packs in there. I'm not even gonna act like I can do that, but 96 times 50, that's 4,800. That was one box, and then I've got even more boxes in here. So I'm estimating this is probably upwards of 6,000 baits? 6,000 individual baits. Are we gonna get 6,000 bites? I think there's over a dozen of us going. This is over the course of like four or five days. Are we gonna get, are we gonna get that many bites? I'm sorry to think about it. I don't know. This is an awful lot of plastics. If it's on, I would say we could be getting close. Most of my experience in fishing, you know, take what you think it's going to be, downscale about 50%. Um, yeah, we're not going to go through much, much of these plastics, but maybe we'll uh, end up giving them to some awesome Mexican danglers down there. It's going to be a fun adventure, y'all, but for right now, this is going to be a tight squeeze. Way down Mexico. Okay, all after a late night of ponderance, I finally figured out how to get all the things I need into, well, it ended up being four containers. So here's my clothing suitcase that I ended up <laughs> packing, and there's hardly any clothes in it. So I've got like three main big boxes. All my reels are in this bag right here. Uh, six reels in there. I got a couple for my boy, Andrew Flair. Who's, uh, who's popping in from the farm. Three things of chartreuse dip and dye. We have probably 50 or so jigs in there. We open this up, I condensed probably, I don't know, 50 crankbaits into one little, um, one little nice box. This is a coffin box, so 
It's very deep, it fits a bunch. I've got a bunch more jigs in here. So I've got casting and flipping jigs. I've got a bunch of the hammer hooks. This is meat and potatoes componentry right here. That's your 45, your nine mils ready to attack. And then all the extra like random stuff that you know I just kind of picked up from last minute tungsten and pegs and other stuff and whatnot. This is all the packaging I went through to condense what you just saw in the suitcase. I don't know how I did it, but I did it. This one is definitely overweight. I bet you this is 60 pounds of straight plastics. I ended up having to get another duffel bag just to put other hard baits and stuff in. So this has got swim baits, line, other hard baits, scissors. Oh yeah, and our rod tube. You know, this rod tube. I need you to take care of my chickadees while I'm gone. I guess I need to lock them up every night and let them out. Yeah, the things will kill them, honey. Oh. You know, last time I went away. I let two go. Yeah, two. That was not my fault. Uh, on your fox, watch. The fox got them. Buenos dias from a goat farm in Mexico, ladies and gentlemen. So all our stuff made it here. Me, Flair, and Juan Carlos, aka Senor Bass, are all here on a journey right now. Uh, before the rest of the Googans get here, it's called Unchartered. And this is a series that we collaborate with Ketchco with. We play in these trips, we get a group of people together that have never been to a certain area and uh, they just thrust themselves into the wild unknown and as you can tell from my current location that is actually happening we are in the wild unknown right now so we are not even to the lake that we're going to be fishing yet this is this is a stop and yesterday we did a bunch of things uh, just around town we had some local food it's like some travel channel stuff but that's why we're, uh, we're out here at a goat farm right now. But the lodge we're staying at is pretty cool. There's a lot of uh, there's a lot of, like Aztec uh, memorabilia in here, and I just want to take you inside, show you a little bit. So check this out. Someone from uh, like an old Aztec community. I forget what they call it down here. I'm embarrassed. I, I can't I can't pronounce it or say it. But uh, they they took thread and threaded this mural. It must have taken, I don't know how many hours to do this. It must have taken months and months to do this by hand. You know, you've got, uh, you've got Jesus Christ right there, JC, shout out. And then you've got a whole bunch of other different things going on here. Different murals of different, um, you know, you can see the corn right there. Um, there's some sort of like deer, uh, deer God. Obviously you've got the sun God. Over here, a bunch of bunch of different gods going on. A little bit, some creepy, some creepies happening in there in the woods there. Uh, a little bit of little creeper McGee right there as well. But um, <laughs> there's just a lot going on there. I've never seen anything like that. It's it's a unique piece. And sitting above right here, we have the Mickey Wanos, Mickey Wano deer, which is different than the coos deer and the whitetail and the mule deer. This is a different species I've never heard of. It is a um, like a same size body as a whitetail, but their antlers are a little bit smaller. Whereas like a coos, coos deer is just, uh, well, he's, he's pretty small. There we have the majestic whitetail, as we know. So there's, there's a lot going on here. Also a lot of Tecate. Um, <laughs> last night we kind of sat around this little fire and um, they actually cook. They cook right in here. And they have uh, the meat right there. They just throw it over the hot coals. It's like having a little camp inside of the camp. Check that out. There's a mountain lion that was killed out here. Also apparently had a, had a big bear here at one time. Uh, took it down with uh, the old shotgun. So I'm not exactly sure what this Lake El Cachillo looks like. But we're going to go check it out together. And that's where we're going to be for another like four or five days. 
with Guggen Squad and we're just filming. I gotta get my boy Juan Carlos in this video before it's over. He's munching down right now, but he's got buddies down here. He's got the fishing reports and supposedly they're just starting to spawn. So this, the weather this week looks amazing. It could be setting up for an absolute Mexican bass massacre. Senior Bass, he's the he's the number one YouTuber south of the border, and he's he's a sensation. He's a sensation among all Spanish-speaking outdoorsmen. So we're gonna get the fishing report from him. Hola, Senor, come over here. Buenos dias. I've already introduced you as the you know the bass fishing outdoorsman extraordinaire. <laughs> extraordinaire. How do you say that in Spanish? Extraordinario. <laughs> so you're actually doing a little bit more outdoor content like overall yep. now hunting mm -hmm. yep uh, as well so you guys want to follow him he's linked down below but we got to get the fishing report the El Cachillo so I've been kind of telling the audience about El Cachillo fortunately I have uh, some friends here that have uh, been fishing while we're in the US so they've been they've been saying fishing is good uh, yesterday thank you got an eight pounder one of my buddies got an eight there's a tournament going on right? yeah there's a tournament going on right now so uh, they put up about 22 pounds on four fish. So it's that's four fish tournaments down here. Yeah. And they can't have fish over... Over 22 inches. 22. Yeah. So like not even one fish over 22. Not even one. So four fish under 22 inch, Those 22 pounds. Fatties. And they cut one over 20, over 22 inches. They should be moving up shallow. You know, jigs might play a good part. Bandito bugs. Yeah, this guy likes jigs. jigs. <laughs> Bandito style. bugs, worms, you know, just the whole pre-spawn and spawn pattern. So hopefully we, oh, we knock one or two out on this trip. Wreck them, baby. Yeah. Yeah, I've been on a streak of uh, terrible bites here lately, so I'm ready for <laughs> I'm ready for him to just start yeah. munching. Oh yeah. Where it just gets easy. For sure. So, yeah, anyway. we're gonna get him. For we're gonna sure. go check out the lake right now. Plásticos mucho ahí y, y grande, grande de y verdes, verdes, y plásticos más finas. I don't know, am I speaking the right language here? I think, I, I think I'm doing okay. We have torn into our happy sacks, got filthy into the baits, and we've given it an angle. You guys want to see the lake? Thongs are on, baby, and we are finally here at El Cachillo. Actually, I've already been out there on the water. We've been filming, filming unchartered. First impression of the lake, pretty good. I'm just gonna say a big and was caught on our excursion out there today. Um, we're staying at a pretty nice little place. There's a, there's like some villas out here and there's also like a hotel resort scenario and they allow, there's room actually for you to back in your boats and charge them and everything. So really cool. Also a lot of kayak fishermen out here. I even saw wade fishing being done today so it's all being done all for the dangle for the biggins from what i've seen so far y'all they are spawning we actually had some fish today where uh, we were pitching into cover and we're getting repeated bites and like getting baits moved out of the area and it's just a telltale sign even though we can't see the fish that fish are actually spawning thank goodness and I'm glad I brought a bunch of plastics because it seems like that is going to be the ticket. Plastic worms, jigs, I did catch, catch fish on both today. I'm always happy when I can catch a fish on a jig. And it's not gonna be just easy street. We're gonna have to, it takes some skill placing it into the cover. And uh, it seems like if you fish, you know, for a little while, you're gonna get a big bite, so you better be ready. 25 pound test fluoro, 65 pound braid, must let me just flip the camera around so you guys can see here and we are going to shut it down for the day on a little sunset this is a lake it's a big wide open lake with lots and lots and lots of mesquite trees there is a river that has a ton of cover up in it this little parking lot area probably isn't the best view of the lake but it's just what i have to work with right now y'all but just trust me we're dealing with shallow aggressive bass out here and it's gonna be a lot of fun but we've got a lot of work to do on the Guggen squad channel big group is all coming in uh we've got google squad plus a lot of our partners and just our friends coming down and uh me juan carlos aka senor bass who's been a phenomenal help here uh translating as we travel around and then also uh, my boy andrew flair out of the cornfield straight white legs got scorched 
today. So stay tuned for the Uncharted series. It's going to be a good time. And always, guys, keep it locked right here by hitting that subscribe button. Hit the like button for international travel. And God bless you. Hasta la vista for a Mexico.